Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use the export log file function on the Genesis controller. So this will allow you to export any log files from the last 10 firings that you've done on the Genesis controller. So first we're going to press the menu button and then we're going to scroll down until we see configuration. So number four, we'll press that. Then you're going to press number two, communication. And then you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see export log file. So we'll go ahead and press that and then it gives you the address and code for the Genesis controller that you'll need to access from a computer on the same network as it. So next we'll go ahead and go to the computer and we will enter this information in and we'll be able to access the files. Okay so now that we've got the controller ready to export the log files we need to go ahead and get to a computer that is on the same network as the Genesis controller is and you'll need to open up a web browser so you can use Google, Google Chrome, you can do Firefox, Internet Explorer, anything that would get you to a web browser. So once you've got your web browser open here you're going to change the web address at the top to the address that was shown in the controller. So here you can see it highlighted. It's 198.168.15.136 and this will change depending on what your controller is. So you need to type in what was listed in the address for your controller and then you need to type in slash login and press enter. So once you press enter and the page loads you'll get to this page here now and it's asking you to enter your code. So that is also the code, that, that four digit code that was listed on the Genesis controller. So let's go ahead and type that in, in that space, and then you'll press the submit button. So once you press that, it should take you to the Kiln Connect page, and you should see at the top the address that we just typed in, and then you'll see code equals and that should be the four digit code that you just entered. So now that we're at the Kiln Connect page you can see the last 10 firings that your Genesis controller has done and you have the options for the temperature log or the event log. You see the data, date and time of your firing on the far left here. Then it tells you what program was ran, if it was a user program, if it was attack, or a you know a ceramic firing it will list that there then you've got your temperature log for each firing and your event log for each firing so now you want to go ahead and select one of the files so we'll select the first event log for the most recent firing I've done on the controller so you'll click the download button and then this next step may vary depending on which web browser you use and what version of Windows you have. So once you press it, um, some of you will see down in the bottom left hand corner there that the download has occurred and you can go ahead and click that and it will open it. The other option is if you need to you can find it in your downloads section on your PC and then you'll look for that file name which I've got highlighted here and then you can double click there and open it there. So once we open the file, here's what your event file will look like. So you'll see on the far left we've got the column for time so that will give you what time any of these events occurred. The next column gives you the event so you'll see a manual start so we started the kiln. Uh, then it gives you the information, you'll see start ramp, and also diagnostics. Then the next column you'll see is the name so that just gives you a description of what occurred during that specific event. So you can see you see where it says TC off, TC1 offset, TC2 offset, um, down farther it gives you the amps readings and different things like that. And then the last column gives you the values so that just gives you the information for the corresponding thing in the name column. So you'll see TC1 offset is 0 or you know, down farther amps 2 reading was 49. 
So this one you can scroll down through, see all the events that occurred during the firing, and you can save it to your computer if you'd like. You can just exit when you're finished, however you'd like to do. Um, but I'll go ahead and exit out of here, and we'll get back to the Kiln Connect page. And from there, I'd like to go ahead and open up a temperature log file. So I'm just going to choose the user 11 file that farther down there and go ahead and click download. Again, you may see it down there or you may have to find it on your PC, but you can go ahead and get the file opened. So you'll see in the far left column that there is the time column, so that gives you each minute. So zero minutes is just when the, when the firing started and then on down it continues to count up each minute. Then SP stands for set point, so this is what the controller is trying to fire to. And then you've got your temperature readings. So this is for thermocouple one, two, and three. If your controller is set for three zones, you'll have different temperature readings for each one here. If it's set for a single zone, you should just see the same temperature in each column. But you can look here and you can see the different temperatures on down through each minute of the firing. And then again, once you're done here, you can either save it, you can exit it, re rename it, whatever you'd like to do here. But that's pretty much it for this one. So remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for a newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!